There are still many questions on what led to a three-year-old boy being found dead in a Chevy Tahoe in a parking lot of a family fair in Vicksburg on Tuesday. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Office is investigating those questions, including how long the boy was left in the car and what the father was doing while the child was in the car. The situation is still under investigation, so the Sheriff's Office could not reveal many details. They did confirm, however, that the incident began at a location prior to the car being at the family fair. Once the Sheriff's Office completes their investigation, they will send it to the Kalamazoo County Prosecutor's Office. Jeff Williams, the Assistant Prosecuting Attorney, will be ready to handle things through the appropriate procedures. We'll look at all the evidence, we'll talk with the witnesses if that's appropriate, we'll certainly talk with the officers if that's appropriate in a case, we'll look at all of those and decide if criminal charges are appropriate and if so, which one. According to Kids Car and Safety, this would be the first heat-related death of a child in the state of Michigan this year. They say they have seen 13 children die in hot cars in Michigan since 1995. While Michigan doesn't get as hot as other states, specifically southern states, Amber Rollins with the organization Kids in Car Safety says it should still be front of mind for Michigan parents. Inside of a vehicle is a very different environment than outside. You know, there's, there's no way for that heat to escape. And, you know, this is one of those things that nobody thinks is going to happen to them until it does. Williams has dealt with people during the loss of a loved one before. He says situations like this are especially serious when a child's life is lost. Cases where there is a young person that's deceased obviously um, gains everyone attention. That's very serious under the law. And I think most people, regardless about their overall views of law enforcement, can agree that, that that's something that um, law enforcement and prosecutors should be looking at. I'm Jessica Harthorn. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, there's plenty more to see. Just take a second and subscribe to our channel.